Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee and Games. I'm excited for you to be here because today we're going to be playing what I think is one of the strongest heroes in the game, one of my favorite heroes, which is Ghost Spider. Uh, but one of the things that we're going to be doing is a little interesting on this is that we are going to be playing her Justice. Now, a lot of people think she only works in protection. I don't agree with that. I think you can really play her in any aspect and it's pretty good. Um, because her cards are so good in general. So we're going to try it in Justice. We'll see how much involvement the Justice cards get in, get in there. Hopefully a decent amount. Um, but what we'll do is first we will pop down to the table. We'll take a look at the cards. If you'd rather see it uh, through Marvel CDB, I'll add that link down below. So let's go check out this deck. Now, friendly reminder for this game, uh, you're going to see the hero boards. You're going to see you know the dials. You're going to see tokens and stuff that are getting put out. If you like to upgrade your game and you know make it more thematic and and honestly just just really enjoy the entire experience i definitely recommend checking out the link down below to buy the same token they sell great tokens i've been using them for a long time way before they ever sponsored this channel uh if you use my link down below it gets you five percent off your order it also helps out this channel as well and then if you spend enough money you can qualify for free shipping and all that fun stuff make sure to check it out it's really great stuff so all right we have we have Ghost Spider's deck, right? Which is just a, a just a phenomenal deck, right? It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we have our normal three doubles. We have gray doubles because we've been running a lot of the Spider Web Warrior heroes. Web Warrior in general, the reason I think the Web Warrior class is so strong to begin with is because their biggest allies are all basic. So you just run basic heavy decks and you'll be pretty good to go. Speaking of which, Web of Life and Destiny, if we can get that out so we can draw one card across the Spider-Verse, these are two very strong cards, especially across the Spider-Verse, letting us get uh, Peter Parker in there kind of cheaper. We have Scarlet Spider, Hobby Brown, Penny Parker, and Otto. Um, P Peter Parker's the big one, obviously, because it will allow us to ready up. Um, it'll help us deal extra two attack. I mean, just being able to constantly do damage will be, will be really strong. Now we have Lady Spider and Spider-Man uh, Pavatir. We'll see if either of them get into play. They're a little expensive, especially if we don't have our doubles out there. So we'll see how that works. I'm not 100% sure. Now making the entrance, I actually really like a lot for uh, uh, Ghost Spider. The reason being is because it allows us to thwart for three, which is huge, especially for true solo. And then you have an easy way to heal up a little bit. Uh, at least somewhat, hopefully. Now, it is an interrupt, and so is upside the head. And whenever you resolve an interrupt or a response, you get to uh, ready up Ghost Spider Limit once per phase. But it also triggers the Web Bracelet, which is going to allow us to hopefully draw more cards if we can get at least one of those cards in. So both these cards I like a lot, especially if you have to flip down. You can confuse with upside the head, which is really nice. And again, getting that extra thwarting, because that's her biggest weakness, is her ability to thwart. I think making the making an, making an entrance is a really good card for her for that, especially for True Solid. For multiplayer, maybe not so much, uh, but for True Solid, I think absolutely. We have Heroic Intuition. If we need to help out her thwarting ability, we have um, oper Operative Skill, again, to help out thwarting. I don't know if we'll actually need it or not, but maybe. Uh, Endurance in Avengers Mansion will be really good. Just adding more health, Avengers Mansion for more card draw, especially if we have the Great Double. And then finally, Lay the Trap, I think, is a... Um, a really good card overall. Uh, just being able to thwart three in general, we can do that easily with uh, Phantom Flip, right? We remove five threat after we use a basic power, like Defend or something like that. And it allows us to deal five damage to the villain. I think it's an incredibly strong card, especially if you're slowly building it out uh, kind of over time. So anyway, that's the deck. Let me set this game up and then we'll get going. All right, so we're mostly set up here. So um, we'll finish off on decks. We got Crossbones at 12 health. We're at 10. Um, I flipped this over, but yeah, all, all that we have on this side is, uh, we're putting standard three in cause a lot of people have been asking for standard three recently. So I have that in, uh, just to kind of change things up. And then we're using Hydra Patrol, Weapons Master and the Legions of Hydra. I know that's, um, there's an errata on that, but yeah, whatever we're going to do what that says. Uh, so we have to reveal the top card of the weapons deck, which we'll do in one second. Let me just finish shuffling this up. Top card is Energy Shield. So he's going to gain Retaliate. Um, all right. So we got Retaliate on him. And then it is a weapon. And the reason that's important is because he would gain Piercing on all of his weapons. Uh, we don't really have any Tufts in this deck. So I'm not too worried about that. But I think we'll be good. All right. Let's draw our cards. And let's win. 
All right, uh, we got our double ticket to the multiverse web bracelet, which is good. Endurance, which is oh, it's George Stacy could be good. Spider Man web binding. I mean, the web binding is a nice idea, but I don't think it makes sense yet. Peter Parker would be really nice. I don't think it makes sense yet. All right, so we'll dump those. Okay, draw two more. Okay, so let's do what we can do is throw away tickets to the multiverse because it is a double resource, right? So we'll use both those wild resources to play web bracelet. Now, we can choose to either shuffle tickets to the multiverse from your discard pile into your deck or ready George Stacy. We're going to shuffle that back in so we get access to that later on, hopefully. Not hopefully, we should be able to. Um, so we'll shuffle that up. All right, and then we'll flip up. Um, let's throw away Spider-Man. To play George Stacy. And then we can exhaust George to put upside the head. Uh, actually, we don't have to do that right now. Actually, wait, wait, I don't want to do that. I do want to play him now. Uh, but I actually want to throw away the energy and the mental. Because of here side, spend energy the mental. Uh, to get rid of energy shield. And we don't want that. And so, um, this pile discards into your regular encounter deck because it's now considered an encounter card. So he loses piercing and retaliate, so that's good. And then we'll just swing for two and deal two damage. Okay. And then we'll ready up. Now we have a lot of defense. We're still building out, so we can kind of take our time with things. Uh, three, four. Ooh, geez. Okay. Ooh, that's not bad. All right. That can play together. Pirouette and punch could be interesting. Phantom flip. We might hold on for the pirouette and punch, I think. Okay. But we're in a pretty good spot now. So one goes on here. Crossbones is going to attack. We'll just defend this. So he's attacking one, two, three, four. Wow. All right. So we take one damage. Ouch. Now the hope is uh, when a card is revealed from the encounter deck, we can play Pirouette and Punch. That's what I'm going to hope for. Please be a one reveal card. Uh, one revealed. Okay. So uh, we would have to discard X amount of cards from the top of the deck and whatnot. Sorry, the camera's blurry. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use a double to play pirouette and punch. So when a card is revealed from the encounter deck, this was revealed from the encounter deck, deal damage to equal uh, to the villain equal to one more than the number of boost icons. So there's two, so we deal three damage. So he's down to seven life. And uh, cancel the card's one revealed effect. So we cancel that one revealed effect. That's such a good card. I really like it. Now. We did get to do an interrupt, right? That was a hero interrupt. So we get to ready up. We'll use the web bracelet to draw a card because we played interrupt, which is a phantom flip. Okay. Uh, so that was our backer. Okay, so now it's our turn. Now it's our turn. Um, I think what we're going to do is use a use a double, a double gray to play Spider-Man uh, Otto Octavius. Now we can only do that if we're a web warrior. We are a web warrior, so we're good to go. After you play Spider-Man from your hand, ready and upgrade you control, so a ready web bracelet. If that was a tech trait, which it is, we get to draw a card. Wow, we're getting all of her cards right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is exhaust George Stacy to put web binding onto here. Uh, the reason being is because this will be great for canceling an activation and not necessarily stuff in our hand. So I think that'll be good for that. Um, I think what we're going to do is thwart the one with auto. We'll deal two damage. So he's down to five. And then we're going to flip down. Now, we can either shuffle Ticket to the Multiverse from your discard pile into your deck or ready George Stacy. We're going to ready George Stacy. And then we get to exhaust because it's just an action. And we're going to play the Phantom Flip. You're supposed to put these face down. I always forget what's under there. So I play it face up, but it's like hidden under there. So I feel like it counts. So, All right. And then we'll ready up. So we have two, three, four, five. Six. So these are all hero responses. Really can't do much with them. So we'll see what this gets us. All right. So one goes in here. He's going to scheme for one. After his activation resolve, place one pursuit counter pursued by the past. So that was only only one on there, which gets us. Uh, that's kind of lucky for us. So that's a that's big big moves right there. Uh, Alter ego. The villain schemes. If they have a weapon attachment, this card gains surge. He doesn't have a weapon attachment, but he is going to scheme for one, two, three, which will pop this. So that goes away. Um, so now we have to flip this over when revealed, reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck, which is his rifle. Um, so that gives him range. We don't have retaliate, so we don't have to worry about that. He also gains piercing because of his, his whole thing right here. So 
That's fine. That's at one. We can we can deal with that. Did multiverse ticket in here? I can't remember if we used that. No, no, we didn't. Okay. All right. So with all that being said, um, let's flip up because we don't have to take it to the multiverse or anything. We can have George Stacy. We have a thwart card. Do we have the attack card? Let's put ghost kick in here. So now we have three cards under there, uh, which is his max. Um, and we'd be able to cancel an activation, remove threat and deal damage. So that feels like a good balance of things. Uh, pure wet and punch feels really good to hold on to. Maybe we dump these three for hobby Brown. Phantom Flip, we don't need Scarlet Spot. Upside the Head would be nice, but not too worried about it. So we're going to dump these three to play Hobby Brown. All right, Hobby is going to deal one damage to the villain. So he's down to four. We'll deal two damage. So, yeah, yeah. So he's down to two life. All right, let's ready up. All right, I'm going to hold on to Pirouette and Punch, and then we get to draw. So two, three, four... Five. I was kind of hoping for uh, our doubles there, but that's all right. I think that's all right. So he's going to deal some damage. Um, we might just take it. Well, we, we could defend it. I feel like we'll be pretty good. All right, so I'll play one here. Yeah, let's... I don't want to do the damage thing yet. You know, we're going to have, we're going to have Spider-Man block this. We're going to have Hobby Brown block this. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Knocks him out. Now, uh, when Spider-Man leaves play, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck and deal damage to the villain for the boost icons discard this way. So first, it is one damage, two, three, four damage. So that does pop him into next stage. So stage two comes in. He now has 14 life. And then uh, we get to look for a crossbones machine gun and attach it to crossbones. Okay. Crossbones machine gun. All right. Let me shuffle this up. And then that was his attack, so we still have to deal ourselves an encounter card. So we'll put that on this side. We'll get his uh, machine gun token. All right. Let me get a back card. I think we're still really good on things. We kind of crossed the Spider-Verse um, Peter Parker, which might be good. Yeah, we might do that. All right, so anyway. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead of myself. So bad card is a uh, Hydra regular. So this goes up to three. Do we even worry about him? Is that even the thing we worry about right now? All right, so... I had, they didn't have a one revealed, so that's fine. Um, all right, let's do. Do we just do the ghost kick? Yeah, I mean, we can just do a lot of damage right now. We can do a lot of damage. Okay, let's throw away Avengers Mansion and Parental Guidance. Um, so we have that. So then we could do across the spider verse, max one per deck. Exhaust a web warrior card you control. Let's let's get rid of or an exhaust, not get rid of. Uh exhaust auto Octavius. Uh search your discard pile for a web warrior ally. Um we have Peter Parker, right? Yeah, yeah. Peter Parker. Um, and put it into play. We're not playing him, we're putting him into play. So that's how we can get around his requirements. Put it in play, then choose a player. I choose myself. Uh that player may repeat this. Yeah, we're not really not gonna repeat that. That's fine. Okay, so that's that. Now let's do um and tax of thwarts, choose another web warrior character. Okay. I'm gonna deal the two damage and get rid of the Hydra regular. Alright, get rid of him. Spider-Man is going to thwart two. Bring this back down to one. Alright. Oops, bring that back down to one. After Spider-Man attacks or thwarts, choose another web warrior character and ready that web warrior. I I choose myself. I'm going to deal two damage to Crossbones. He doesn't have Retaliate, right? Nope. So that brings him down to 12 life. I'm going to throw away Pirouette and Punch and Ghost Kick 
to play a ghost kick. So we deal, uh, we did a basic power, right? Exhaust into attack. We get to deal six damage, which brings it down to six life. Um, we are now doing a response. So after you resolve an interrupt or responsibility on the event, ready ghost spider limit once per phase. And then we get to draw a card with web, web bracelet spider. Okay. Um, and then we'll just deal another two damage. So he's down to four life. I feel like that's pretty good. So, um, Okay, so we're good. Ready everything up. Um, I don't think we need spider. I don't think we need spider. I think we'll be all right. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, we could cancel the activation, right? We can use tickets to the multiverse to cancel an activation so we don't have to worry about anything, um, which we might do. So this is going to go up to two. Well... We wouldn't get to ready up then, which isn't the worst thing. Now, nah, you know, what? that's fine. That's fine. So what we'll do is uh, when crossbones attacks you, remove one ammo counter from this card um, and discard the top card of the encounter deck. So take indirect damage. It's one. We take one damage. All right. So now Spider-Man auto active is going to be uh, defending against this. Um, so he's going to defend. So it's going to be one, two, three, four damage. Auto gets knocked out. All right. And then we get our bad card. And then I think we're basically... Sinister Strike, one revealed. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we even do this. Oh, no, we don't have the cancel. Okay. Then if it has any counters on, the villain attacks you. Okay, so there's that goes up to two. The villain's going to attack me. I think now is when we cancel it. So let's throw away tickets to the multiverse uh, to play web binding. So when an enemy would activate, cancel that activation. So we'll use tickets to the multiverse to play web binding. We would get to ready up, but obviously we didn't exhaust, but we get to use web bracelet because it is a hero interrupt card to draw a card, which is our phantom flip, which is removing threat, which isn't super helpful, but that's fine. Okay. So then let's, um, we just have to win, right? That's a four. Yeah. So we'll deal the two damage, brings him down to two. Uh, Peter Parker um, does two damage, knocks him out. We get to ready ourselves up. And then what we could do for fun, right, is we could deal two more damage. We could exhaust or we could throw away uh, Phantom Flip, which allows us to ready up, clear the threat off of this or whatever. Um, and then we got to do two more damage on top of that um, and and defeat Crossbones pretty, pretty easily. <laughs> What's funny is most of my Justice cards were on the bottom, so we didn't really get to uh, use them, unfortunately, too much. Um, you really didn't get to see making an entrance, but that's why we took some damage uh, if we needed to because we could have used that. Um, we, we really didn't get to trigger anything we wanted to. We just got her cards early on, and the problem with the problem, I guess, with Ghost Spider is that she's incredibly strong. So once you get like her whole ready up thing with her ability, it's it's really good. It's really strong. Web bracelet helps a lot. Obviously, getting George Stacy uh, out there is is super useful. But I mean, she just mows down crossbones without even trying. Again, it's a little sad we didn't get to kind of mess around with some extra stuff with, um, you know, upside the head and. Um, some of the other justice stuff, but it works. I promise you it works if you want to try it out. Uh, but this was just a little too easy. Crossbones is just a little too weak, unfortunately. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, do me a huge favor. Make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, uh, all the fun stuff. It really helps with the channel. If you, like I said before, if uh, you see the tokens on the table and those dials and the player boards and they interest you, the link is down below. It gets 5% off of your order. It still qualifies for free shipping. Plus it helps out this channel and I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all next time.